So to wrestling's Bill Topper. The well mid heavyweight title is at stake with Fit Finley defending against the former champion Marty Jones. It's over 15 three minute rounds. We join it for the fourth. Seconds away, round four. Round four. 12 to go. No score. In fact, no sign of any score yet. Not even really an attempted submission or an attempted pinfall up to now. Both men watching very carefully as they set their sights. Finally, he does break the hole with that one. Last. <laughs> Three last. <laughs> It's a race here whether Finley gets Jones' left leg first in trouble or Jones gets Finley's left arm. And it's Jones winning at the moment. Yes, he is. Straight arm lift position. Yes, he's up. He's up there. Beautiful left. And Finley does not like that at all. And he goes over to Paula complaining about the left elbow. And the referee goes down there and says, one second only. She's going to act as a second, the second, the other second will sit down, the male one. He's got that left arm again. Oh, he's so fast with that move, Marty. Lovely whip follows up. One minute to go, and all the treatment going on. Finley's left arm now. The wild kicking will do him no good at all. He's got to figure out a way to stop Jones getting to that left arm. The crowd loving it, as you can hear. through, but Jones saw it coming, but the left arm again, and another landing on it. Quick guillotine drop on the left arm. He's taken three or four of those now, Finley. Fifteen seconds. Round four. Finley doesn't want it. Too late anyway. Headbutt to the forehead came just as the bell went. The referee looked up and reminding Finley that uh, he noticed that. That only a private warning. Jones, a bit happier now that he's hit a round without the treatment on his left leg. He's winning the, fi the fight now between the limbs so far. Round five coming up. Sacked away, round five. Eleven to go, and no score in this battle for the world mid-heavyweight title and belt between Dave Fit Finley, the holder, Marty Jones, the challenger. There's Finley with the shamrocks and his dark green tights. Finley had the left leg of Jones, but now Jones is countering with the treatment of the left arm again. And he seems to be winning that with a tussle. Right. Right. Caught him on the way. Left arm again. Oh, and Jones walked into trouble there, completely into trouble. And and it's a single leg Boston, and Jones in real trouble here. Can Finley get the first submission from this? Finley thinks he can.
Then this has got his full weight on it. Jones trying to shove him back towards the ropes so that he gets the break. All right, I'll break it, says Finley, with one last throw under the ropes. Well, Jones somehow didn't submit from that. That left leg's been giving him all kinds of problems. Well, he got up both times he was up on his feet. Just one minute to go in the fifth. Left leg again, Finley. Finley still has it. This could lose jo Marty Jones the chance of that regaining that title. This left leg of his causing him so many problems. 15 seconds. Finley trying everything to get Marty Jones to submit from a left leg treatment. He hasn't got time now. And now Princess Paula getting into the ring to tell Finley he should have finished it now. Saying something like that, he should have had a submission from that. But put more weight on that single leg Boston when he had it. Jones just about limping to his feet. Oh, he's in real trouble now. I'm pretty mad with it. Second away, round six. Round six, ten rounds to go, and still no score or sign of any score in this battle for the world mid heavyweight title. If you remember Jones, Marty Jones got this title. Of Bobby Gatano, Coco Gatano of France at the Fairfield Hall Croydon in November 1982. Then Finley got it off him, and now it's Jones's chance to get it back off Finley. He won't have another one for a long time if he doesn't get it here today. Finley, of course, knows that. He's got to hold on. But no sign of any scoring yet after five clear rounds. Finley is thinking of no other action at all except to attack Jones's left leg all the time. Trying to get him to submit from one hold or another on that left leg. If he does give it, it'll be a single leg bust in our back. Oh, straight through. Oh, Finley messed that corner completely there and he's in trouble from that. Back elbow nicely by Finley. Oh, mistimed it, but, the, but caught Jones on the side of the head with a, with a knee. And Jones in trouble from that. Up at eight. Rush hold and slam by Finley, cross press and holding the leg. Finley should have this one. He's got it. And in one minute, 40 seconds, Finley gets the first fall in round six, the champion is now leading 1-0, and confidence is back. In one minute, 40 seconds of round six, the first fall of the contest to the champion, Fred Finley. Yes, he did it, he did it well, that first uh, fall. And he gets his usual kiss for doing well, but he's not through yet. This is the man who looks in a bad state here. He got one on the side of the head from that right knee there, really hard, and his left leg causing him so much trouble anyway. He'll have to go soon. Second away, round seven. He'll have to go now, in fact. It's a call for round seven. And he's getting counted, Jones. But of course, immediately, 
Finley does that, the referee stops counting. And a public warning for it, too. Round seven, public warning to Dave Finlay. At the beginning of round seven. So Finley leading by one to nil. Champion leading one to nil, but with one public warning against him. Slow joins up, he really has. What a handle to him. And most of the time, fairly. Certainly, great confidence now. <laughs> That'll bend his confidence a little. Beautiful posting. Jones going in with a knee drop, nice one across press. Coming up. No. Oh, that would have been very quick. Come back with an equalizer by Jones there, but he didn't quite make it. Start this more, more this, his style. This an air, airplane spin. Oh, knee, face down, knee drop. All under the top rope. It's the straight fingers. Okay. Thirty seconds to go. Round seven. So he switched that good old punch. Definite punch to the referee spotted or not. He got out of it. Beautiful move there by Jones with that punch. But I don't think the referee was sure enough. Jones is sure enough. Eight seconds. Finley, the champion, leading Marty Jones by one fall to nil, gained in round six, but with one public warning against him. I'd like to see Marty Jones try that move again, see if he can, can do it without the punch this time. It's a tremendously high knee drop Jones can pull there. Going for the double lead, and he's going for the full Boston Crab. Now maybe he's got a chance of submission from this. Worried Finley's back, but not enough. And it's a double arm there by Jones over the top, further shoulder press. Can he hold those blades? No. Nope. Trying everything he knows for this equalizing fall. Going up under the ropes and missed by a mile. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, that's a special, another special move of uh, Jones. <laughs> He's trying the power lock. Jones' special move, the power lock. He must get a submission from this. If he gets, he must get a submission. And he does. Finally submit. One minute 30 into round eight. A submission from Dave Fenley with a Jones speciality, the power lock, a version of the Indian death lock.
Jones happier now. He's back in the match now with that equalising submission in round eight. But Paula is giving blue murder to his to her uh, husband and protege here. Really, he's going through murder. Here. Furious about that. Set away round nine. She's got to get out, and Jones oh, could have caught Paula there. And he just stopped himself. Seven to go. One fall each. The next one is the one that counts here. And remember, Finley has one public warning against him. Limping badly from that left leg. And after your leg's been in a power lock, you limp. Believe me, I've tried it, and it's murder. The most painful hole of them all. Those men taking it a little bit easy now because uh, they've got to watch the points very carefully. The next one is the next score is the one that really counts here as to whether Jones gets that belt back or Finley retains it. Finally, both agreeing on a single figure interval, but it's Finley's right hand, Jones left, remember. They're both right handed. Jones is the one that's feeling mad. And that hair pull. Well, Finley started it. With that hair pulling. Just a minute to go. Round nine. Oh, Jones really confident now. He's back in this match with a vengeance here. And he's calling Finley towards him in the centre of the room. Knowing Finley, tricky customer, a very, very class wrestler. Jones will have to watch it. Being too confident. Nicely over the top. Can he get Finley down? No. Nope. Finley held his balance very well. Oh, 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 second public warning. He asked for it to be right in front of the referee. Second and final public warning to Fit Finlay. Ten seconds to go, and Finlay gets his second and final public warning in round nine. Well, what a crazy thing for Finlay to do. As he goes over to his corner, yes, Paula telling him, I'm sure, crazy thing to do, right in front of the referee, because all, all Peter Zakash had to do was to turn around and talk to the timekeeper, deliver a public corner. Marty Jones, still looking a bit tired, worried about that left leg of his, but must be much happier now. Second away, round 10. Six rounds to go, one fall each, two public warnings against Finley, the champion. Peter Sackhouse refereeing this part really superbly. He's let as much go as he can, keep the flow going, but he has delivered public warnings when necessary. Really good. Going for back weakness now, Jones. And the monkey climb didn't quite get it right, but uh, half worked. Lovely drop kick and Finley out. And 
Princess Paula really getting mad with some of the crowd that were going for a penalty there. Oh, and both of them out clear over the top rope and trouble here from, from the crowd surrounding them. But Jones back as Finley gets back first. Jones manages to get back, helped by the crowd. And it's Jones holding on. Can it? No. And everybody thought that Jones had got it that time. He almost got it with that folding press. Beautiful move, but didn't quite work. Both men quite a bit tired now after this, but uh, 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 that's what he got a public warning for just now. And Jones wasn't going to fall for that one. <laughs> uh, the MC right down here to make sure that he doesn't. Oh, oh. Caught him nicely with the knee then, and dropped down on the tip forehead. Not so much authentic holes here, but some tremendous fighting moves by both men. 30 seconds to go, round 10. Whatever, it's been a tremendous bout, and the great crowd here really enjoying it, every minute of it. Screams from Marty, and he cannot stand the sound of that from Dave Finlay. really quite work out what Marty Jones was complaining about to the MC. I'll see if I can find out. Second away, round 11. We should go ahead with round 11. <laughs> Marty Jones was complaining to the MC this night over the top rope in the interval there that uh, his opponent was wasting too much time. I think it's entirely up to the referee, of course, it's not up to the MC. If the referee thinks that's so, he should get on and start counting the steps back. Anyway, we're in Toronto 11 with five rounds to go, one fall each, and double leg Nelson to Finley. But Jones out before the count of three. Two public warnings against Fit Finley. Oh, what a view. Oh, that came from way back, that forearm. And a crutch hole. Doesn't bother with a crutch hole with a slam. Going for the pile driver now. All the way down on the pile driver. And that will slow up Finley for a while. Two minutes to go in this 11th round. And I don't think Peter Zakash is too happy with Jones for doing that. And it's a public warning. He gets two public warnings, Jones, for that. So he's had his final Round public 11, warning. The referee gets two public and in the meantime, Finley. And ring the bell, says Zakash. And he's out. And Finley is out. Two public warnings to Jones, but he won't worry him too much because Finley has got his third public warning in just one and a half minutes of Ronald Lever. So the Zakash winner on a disqualification, Marty Jones. Marty Jones gets his belt back, and that's all that's going to worry him. Disqualification. He's happy. Ah, oh, Marty Jones at last has got that title and belt back. He'll be thrilled with that. New champion, and on the left there, you'll see, oh, on the left there, you'll see 
Fit Finley and Paula still complaining to the MC, the referee, or anybody else who listen. But it was a perfectly clear disqualification. Well, these arguments are going to go on all day, obviously. So, a goodbye from all of us at Dartford. Have a good time. Till next time.